Hello and welcome to TVC News. This hour we begin in Abuja, where the Nigerian Senate has pledged its full support to the ECOWAS leadership under President Bola Tinumbu in resolving the political situation in Niger Republic. This is as the upper legislative chamber mandated its leadership to further engage with the president and commander-in-chief on behalf of the Senate on how best to resolve the issues. National Assembly correspondent T.J. Suadiri reports. Before starting the main business of the day, the Senate dissolved into an executive session to consider President Tinubu's request, seeking the support of the Nigerian Senate on the implementation of the ECOWAS resolution with regards to the political impasse in Niger Republic. After the closed session, the Senate adopted all seven of its resolutions with a commitment to further mandate its leadership to engage with President Tinubu on how best to resolve the issues. The Senate calls on the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as Chairman of ECOWAS to further encourage other leaders of the ECOWAS to strengthen their political and diplomatic options and other means with a view to resolving the political impasse in the Niger Republic. The highlight of Saturday's session is the screening of ministerial nominee Bosun Tijani, an IT expert whose past tweets and interactions on social media almost became an abatross. But for the magnanimity of the Senate, he was let off the hook and given an opportunity to retract and apologize to the public. This man standing before us did what any of our children could have done. At that point, based on their own understanding of what's going on, he, 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 he portrayed a scenario of how most of the people he was struggling to help were being arrested by the police because they had laptops in their bags, not because they were criminals. Let us remember what happened in this country. We need to move on with this generation we need to put this behind us. A young man is also standing before us today. In line with the Mr. President's promise to young Nigerians that he will be part of my government, and he brought a young man. Look at his great, look at his dressing, Mr. President, green and white. That is Nigerian. <laughs> but one thing you'll be proud of as well is that the passion that led me to those mistakes has also given me the opportunity to contribute to the development of this country. So I want to profusely apologize to everyone in this hall, including anyone anywhere in Nigeria that may have been offended about everything I said. The Senate used Bosun Tijani's situation to point out the need for caution and emotional intelligence when using the social media as a tool for expression they urged young Nigerians to be more patriotic and also play their role in nation building. The latest two new ministerial nominees sent by President Tinubu for screening will have to wait a little longer before they can face the Senate and satisfy their curiosity. After the screening and scrutiny, the Senate will then choose to confirm or reject their nominations. But for now, plenary is adjourned to Monday, August 7th. See Jesu Adio, it is news. Abuja.